Welcome to Desk Geek. I was so excited when I got an email from my favorite company for email services, the, one of the most secure email services, I think, based on my research, and I have some videos talking about Proton Mail's uh, email service and how much I love it and the steps that they take and they allow you to do encrypted email. They keep their servers offshore and they do everything they can and they're very... Uh, open about their processes. They have great customer support. And so when I found out that they had released a VPN service as well that they're looking at in a trial, I was very, very excited. And look how cool this VPN is. Now, virtual private network is a fantastic way to protect the traffic that goes from any of your devices that are networked or connected to the internet in any form or fashion. So we talked about Opera some, and it had that free VPN service, which was really just kind of a, it, it only would protect its proxy more than a VPN. It would only protect the information when you were using that browser, but any other file system or anything else that was sending information, software connecting to the internet, it would not protect that traffic. But a VPN, a true VPN, like Pia VPN, which is one of the ones that I utilize uh, on a regular basis, actually protect any traffic that would leave your machine. And they basically send that through a different points or relays. And then there's no way for that IP address, for instance, to be tracked to exactly your location. So right now without a VPN, if I go to my IP address, it's going to show me where I'm at in the map and who my carrier is and everything else. But if I use a VPN, for instance, I can make it look like that traffic's coming from the United Kingdom, the United States, wherever I want. Now, another benefit to a VPN is especially with all the social media sites and things out there that you may access, uh, those sites put cookies on your computer and they will track everything you do even when you leave. And that's why sometimes if you go to Amazon and you're searching for, I don't know, a brand new motherboard and then you go onto Facebook and all of a sudden you see this advertisement popping up there. That's all the metadata that they've gathered, shared, and also cookies that are tracking your activity after you leave those type of sites. So a VPN can really help break uh, the ability for them to gather information specifically on you, which is a protection, especially if you start putting it into the context of not necessarily doing something illegal, but what if insurance companies start buying all this information, wanting to know every time you looked up a specific disease or illness or medication or problem and start changing rates or who knows what's going to happen with the insurance stuff lately. But that's the type of stuff and why people are worried. It's not just because they do illegal activity. They don't want somebody tracking and having more information than their own family knows about them. And a VPN can help with that. Now, there's no such thing as a completely secure option you know you can have firewalls you can have vpns you can hop through proxy servers you can do all kinds of stuff and you still could get caught if you're trying to keep yourself private from the cia or the fbi and all of that stuff obviously if they really want your specific information they're probably going to find a way to get it and a lot of times even when using tor and other things people have been compromised because it's not necessarily that Tor was compromised, although it can through middleman attacks and everything else, but generally a lot of those attacks you read up on them are because they signed up while using Tor into their Facebook account and everything else. So there's, they start leaving cookie crumbs everywhere of their activity and government and everybody can put that stuff together. So if you're doing legal activity, this isn't necessarily gonna save you, although it'll probably uh, make it a lot harder for someone to catch you. But if you're just someone like me who wants to keep your information private and doesn't want everybody knowing every site you visit and where you go, this is a really good option. And Proton Mail, again, one of my favorite email services, the best thing you can do, I think, to secure yourself is to not give one specific company all your business. So if you just use Google products, well, you're giving Google a ton of information on you. I'd rather use Proton Mail, a paid for service where I'm paying for them to protect and I can use encryption and things like that on private messages, maybe use a different type of browser like Vivaldi or Mozilla and just kind of break my information, use DuckDuckGo instead of Google.com, et cetera. So you're not giving one person all this easy to access information on you. But now we get into this VPN. Look how amazing this looks. I feel like I'm this, this, this looks like what they always show on TV shows when hackers are like trying to create different nodes or hop their traffic, they have a GUI like this. And that's why I'm showing you this in Windows, but it's also available in Linux 
and it's available on Mac. And I did set it up in Linux Mint, even though the instructions are just for Ubuntu, they work perfectly in Mint as well. So you can set this up in any of your Linux variations. You don't get the cool GUI though in Linux just yet. Hopefully they add that. Uh, but what you do here is you've got a quick connect here and you'll see it's connecting me to one of the VPNs, ES number two, and, or I can select a specific one that I wanna to connect to in the actual IP addresses. You can see I'm connected to Spain and it's starting to show me my traffic. I love that it has the session traffic down here, with the amount of seconds that are going on in the session, the down, the down volume, the up volume, download speed and upload speed. So you can see, and I'll show you some video of the installation up above. I didn't want to do just an installation video because you can go to their site and see a lot of the instructions. Very easy to follow instructions with Windows. It's just you install the application, sign in, and you're pretty much done. With Linux, you got to do a little bit in the terminal, but for anybody who uses Linux, that's probably going to be even quicker for you than the installation through the Windows would even take. But either way, you've also got profiles you can build. You can create new profiles for different uh, countries that you automatically want to connect to servers. You can name those and build them out. So very advanced kind of interface. You can connect someplace random. You can connect to the place that has the fastest connection. You can also do what they call secure core and that's gonna kill my current connection, but Secure Core is going to help mitigate against kind of a middleman attack where they've put a server that may be compromised because it's gonna hop your traffic through a couple different points, which is a fantastic option if you really, really want that secure um, connection and you don't want your data to be followed. So I love, again, that I get to see this map and where my traffic's going. It just feels really cool. It looks awesome right now. This isn't a trial. They do not have anything that shows you a subscription for what this is gonna cost, but I'm guessing it will be in line with probably what you pay for other VPN services. You've got some simple options here that you can set up. Default protocols, UDP or TCP. If you use UDP, as an option, that's basically gonna be a unverified packets that you're sending. It's gonna be way faster to send it that way because it's not going to error check. But if you're you doing something like streaming video, which I was able to do with Twitch and YouTube and those things, even through this VPN, so it's really fast, the servers they have set up, you may wanna use TCP, which is gonna kind of error check those packets and things. And again, that's my understanding of those two things. If you know more about it below, please leave the information. This, this channel is all about education and we don't know anything about the subscriptions just yet. Of course, we have the profiles and the help. So if you want to set up, you got to get uh, an invite. I don't think it's available for everybody just yet, but if you sign up and pay for Proton VPN like I have, not very expensive, you may just get that uh, invite. But I think it's an amazing service. It looks fantastic and works fantastic on Linux. It works in Windows. I uh, hope they release some mobile versions. That would be the one thing that would keep me from switching to it over from Pia because Pia actually has all of those same options, Windows, Mac, everything else, but they also have Android and iOS, so I can install the VPN on my phone, which also helps keep you secure the same way it would on a computer. So Proton VPN, I'm very excited about this. Definitely suggest you go to their site and uh, check out, sign up for information and updates on Proton VPN. I love everything these guys do, so I'm very excited about this. Leave your comments below. I figured this is a very timely video considering all of the information that's come out about the CIA and FBI and all the compromising uh, things that they've done for certain, uh, although they're saying it doesn't happen to anybody in the United States, so they're not using that tool against citizens. Who knows what the truth is, but certainly protecting your data is becoming more important than ever and it will help keep you and your information safe from prying eyes, not just governmental, but hackers and everything else. So in any case, check out ProtonVPN, leave your comments below. I will talk to you guys next time. Until then, get out there and fill your brains. Don't get this far. Don't watch the video.